And welcome back, Zero K fans. Sorry about the delay there. Spring was taking its sweet time to start up for some reason. It usually doesn't do that, but in this case it did. Anyway, we're gonna have a game between Drone and Black Duchy on Titan Duel. Let's just get right to it. So, Drone is starting out in the northwest corner of this map. Not quite chosen as fact factory yet. Going for Amphib. Okay, I should have guessed. And Black Duchy going for light vehicles, which is much more typical on this map. Both players also going for support comms, interestingly enough. Although, mainly on a map like this, the support comm build power boost is probably a good thing. I mean, Beam Laser E Cell startup as well. I mean, the thing is, this map is fairly large, so having the support comm setup is not that unusual. It's a little unusual because Recon Com is still really powerful, but a map like this, support comm makes sense. You just have a larger map to work with. It's just easier to set up, have the build power in the back than it would be on a map like Wanderlust or Baron or Small Divide, if we ever see that again. Anyway, Black Duchy is going to scout out Drone fairly quickly. He's going to see the Amphib plant. No, he's not. He is not going to see anything. He's going to see a Defender and a Metal Extractor, and that tells him very little. Oh, there we go. Now he sees it. Okay. Does have that going in. I thought you are not map marks. Does have the Dark going in on the west side, and it's going to get rid of the Metal Extractor as well. Not a bad little harassment there from Black Duchy. He's not going to be able to get the other one, though, but that's that's still something. So at this point, Black Duchy is slightly ahead in terms of economy. At this point, not the biggest deal. Does have a Scorcher, and it looks like that's going to be coming in and dealing a bit more damage as well. I don't see that is going to be too effective. Only Okay, not even sending it out forward. He is, not, he is wisely keeping that Scorcher back. Just wants to build up his army a bit. The darts he can sacrifice somewhat, but the Scorchers you don't really want to waste if you can avoid it. In fact, I don't think he's going to go for that Scorcher Heavy play right now. The way he's building up, he's expanding on all sides, which is the right thing to do. Drone is doing the same thing, has a, well, a conch going down to the south while his commander goes over to the east. Similarly, Black Dutch is going to the north while his masons go over to the west. And the center is going to be a contentious thing, but both players are definitely getting their economy set up. They are playing this map for the late game. They're not going for early harassment or anything like that. We aren't going to see any comp snipes. We're very likely not going to see any comp snipes. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting, especially with the Amphib plant. On a map this big, I'm curious how that's going to play out. I mean, the Amphibs don't have their advantage of water, despite the fact that there is water on this map. is not pathable. <laughs> Amphibs cannot get to the water. So the main advantage is the fact that their units are fairly... They're kind of that super heavy bot factory. Even more so than jump in some ways. That's kind of the thing to go for. However, ducks got to be careful. The thing with ducks is that they have a tendency to kill each other when they're in groups, so you kind of have to have them alone. And unfortunately, they're also not good at dealing with small numbers of units. Four darts getting rid of a duck, which isn't surprising given the low rate of fire of ducks. It's a little surprising given the low power of darts, but you know what? In large enough numbers, it doesn't really matter, does it? Ducks get one shot off, and that damages a dart. Wait, that damages a dart? That should, only, that should kill a dart. That should outright kill a dart. And it would. They have 120 health, but still. Archer's much better option here. Probably going to go for Archer and then Boy pretty soon. And I'm going to say it that way just, just to annoy all the American viewers, because Boy is the Canadian way of pronouncing it. Actually, it's the British way of pronouncing it, but usually if it's the British way of pronouncing it or spelling it, it's the Canadian way too. So Boy. And now Black Touchy switching over to Hovercraft platform. Okay. Apparently, the two players wanted to play on Finn's Revenge and didn't quite communicate that in advance. So, instead, they're playing it on Titan Duel and hoping for the best. If we start seeing some crazy terraform shenanigans going on, then... Then I'll be really impressed. At this point, it's just... It's interesting. It's different. Though, admittedly, Drone has been playing Amphib a lot, so it's not that different for him. These archers should have no problem getting into the darts. And as you can see, not even get, letting the darts get in range. Of, no, actually, the darts are going to get rid of the metal extractor. That is going down. Everything else, though, is... No, this metal extractor is also going down. Or... No, not quite. The dart didn't get microed away from that defender in time. Almost got two metal extractors. Only got one. That was a lot of darts. That's a l fair amount of metal, actually. It's 40 per. That's that's almost 400... Yeah, it's about 400 metal that's so, so far been thrown into FX Drone's base. Or into Drone's base. Shouldn't throw out clan tags like that. Into Drone's base. That really didn't need to be. Now Drone is going for a bit of a counter harass. Three archers going to the southwest to take care of these metal extractors. And Drone actually hasn't really pushed over to the northeast yet. A little bit surprising he hasn't sent any conches over there. He does have a couple, but 
Let's see, one conch over here, one conch under production, and the other conch is now going over to the northeast. And the archer's doing a very good job in harassing. Black Duchy falling behind, well, not falling behind, he's getting evened out in economy. Drone had an economic disadvantage most of the game, but now it's evening out. Black Duchy and Drone both at 21. Black Duchy, however, has switched pretty successfully to hovercrafts, getting rid of one archer. The other archer should be able to take care of. Wow! Smashed one scrubber into the other and got rid of both of them. Actually, that was a nice kill there. The thing about pushing, any impulse weapons, they have interesting results. But really interesting, really, really, really interesting is if one of them gets pushed into the water here. I think they'd end up smashing into the walls and dying, but if they didn't, then they'd just be stuck here. I don't think they'd be able to shoot out from there for the most part. The scalpels should be able to, if scalpels got pushed in here. Scrubbers would probably be able to shoot through, the, might be able to shoot through the ground, but I don't think they can. Anyway, the archer doing a nice job just finishing off everything else that Black Chachi has here, but not the biggest concern. At this point, Drone could just go down here and reclaim this entire thing and bring him, take it for himself. And he's starting to, he is hemming Black Duchy in pretty hard. Black Duchy doing what he can with the scrubbers to get rid of everything that Drone is sending, but it's tough. He does have a lot of scrubbers at this point. He does have a scalpel as well. He is primarily going for scrubbers, 4 to 1 ratio, and getting, reclaiming his light vehicle factory. He was starting to make that reclaim. Now, back at Drone's base, no fax which appears imminent. In fact, he's starting to, he's getting to the point where he's starting to excess. He does have twice the economy, though, and nice shots there. It's, it's that Black Duchy has a bit of a stronger army right now. Drone does have the archers, though, and they are doing an, they're doing a fine job not getting surrounded. This one is doing a really good job not getting surrounded. And the scalpels, however, are still a bit of a thorn in their side. Doesn't matter, though. A lot of scrubbers going down for that, and Drone, this is inside his territory for the most part, he can, or at least the border of his territory. He can reclaim all this and have an even better economic advantage. And Scalpel's doing what they can against the defenses here, but unfortunately one of them dies in the process. And another Scalpel heavily damages an archer. One Gauss, one Gauss rifle shot here would finish it off. And there it goes! That archer is down. The other archer has to retreat and looks like it's going to get overwhelmed. No, not quite. Black Duchy retreating, not bothering to go into Drone's territory. Get a bit of the big picture here. We do see that Drone has a lot of the north. He pretty much has the whole north. He's got some of the southwest, and the northeast he hasn't taken yet, but he can. It's basically his. Black Duchy, however, has just the southeast, and that's it. That's all there is. Trying to move in here, see what he can do to break the front line. Losing a lot of scrubbers in the process, though. Not quite able to make this break work. The scalpel's going to try to do it again. They will be able to get rid of the Lotus without too much issue. A bit of overkill, though, and... If he does get rid of the metal he's trying... Oh, actually, at this point, he has broken this line. Just a bit, but he's forced Drone back to the next line. Freed up one of the metal extractors in the center of the map. This Lotus is a bit of a concern, but not the biggest one. The scalpel is not going to be hit too hard before it manages to destroy it. And the front line is actually starting to turn a bit. Black Touchy is able to get back into the game. He was looking fairly hemmed in. He was looking completely... Actually, he's looking like he was just going to lose from being overwhelmed economically. And at this point, Drone still has a massive economic advantage, but Black Touchy has almost secured the territory with all of this reclaim. He could send in a couple workers to take the reclaim in. He is actually sending in a couple masons. We're sending in a mason to take that reclaim. He can definitely do that. It's not going to be the safest thing to do, but he should do it anyway just to get the reclaim. Admittedly, losing the mason would be a problem, but for the na for the time being, he should just reclaim what he can. Get a few masons, actually. Or get a few, not masons at this point, get a few f quills, which is exactly what he's doing. Get a few quills, take him to the center of the map, reclaim what he can, and it looks like Drone is the same idea. He is doing exactly the same. Well, getting a metal extractor, he's likely to reclaim afterwards, re-getting his metal extractor in the center of the map. And Black Touchy at this point has done quite a lot here, taking out a great deal of what Drone had set up in the center of the map and keeping Drone a little bit exposed. Not going to be the easiest thing to do, though. The ducks are coming in, and they should be much more effective against the scalpels than the archers are. They are going to get their one shot in, and that's going to be enough to kill any of these scalpels. Sorry, these uh, scalpels. The scorchers, no problem. The ducks and the scalpels are basically even. However, the scalpels, I think, let's double check. Their damage, scalpels have 620 damage, ducks have 430. So basically, the scalpels will beat the ducks. At least in terms of numbers, if not in terms of cost. 220 compared to 150. So for cost, it's about even. But Drone's Commander is going down, and Drone's Commander... Beam laser E cells, that is not going to be the smallest blow, but it's still going to be fairly well taken because drone 
30-36 compared to 21-27 for Black Duchy. So Drone doesn't have a build presence in the center of the map. His conches are... Where are his conches, anyway? Gunship Switch, however, is there, but his conches are mostly at the north side. He has one to the southwest that is taking all these metal extraction points, but he is mostly set up in the north, and Black Duchy does have to worry about this Brawler, though, and I think the Scalpels can hit air. I think the Scalpels do have... Well, they can hit air, but I'm pretty sure they have the range to hit the Brawler. So that Brawler is going to be having a hard time getting in too much. The Quills are doing a lot of reclaim. Black Duchy, with the reclaims economy, is about on par with Drones. And he is getting rid of more defenses that Drone has set up. And workers and all this other stuff here. So Drone actually... He is going to be able to take out one of these scalpels in the looks of it. Yep, one scalpel goes down to a duck, but the rest of the ducks all go down. And that being said, Drone still has a nice position. The players are relatively even. Black Duchy is not prepared for production, though. He does have his commander pushing his hovercraft factory, but he needs caretakers. And badly. Not to mention the fact that Drone does have a gunship switch here. Two brawlers in play. Actually, three brawlers in play. Two of them about to get to the scalpels. And he has a northeast as well. He has everything. Let's double check again. At this point, Drone still in the position he was more or less before. Just the center is a bit less controlled by him. At least on the ground, but these brawlers are going to be a problem. Scalpels are throwing everything they can at the brawlers. One of them will go down without issue. The other one is going to be a bit tougher. Looks like the Scalpels did manage to get their second salvo off, though. And that salvo is going to be able to chase off the brawler. The third brawler is in here, and that's in a much better spot. The Razor will be able to finish off this last brawler, but it's going to need to run away. It actually is not able to do so. It gets killed. This third brawler, though, is going to be able to attack with impunity, going along the south side, just taking on the mechs as it can. Double-checking that it can do that. Drone to a nice little scout there. He's not... He didn't want to just commit to that too quickly. He wanted to make sure that he could actually pull it off, and he could. But he needs to make sure he doesn't fly over the scalpels, because that is going to be a problem. And another Razor, a couple Razors in the base here. This Brawler is doomed. Trying to, I guess, just do what it can. Just take out as much of Black Duchy's economy before it dies and feeds him a bunch of metal as a result. Not going to be able to take out the factory, though, and that is a big deal. Black Duchy's still in the game. His factory not gone. That would have been a... Pro that, I mean, that would have been a possibility. No... F no flails yet, though. Just Scalpels. He's relying entirely on Scalpels and Razors for anti-air, and it looks like... Drone why, figures he's wise just to avoid going for air at this point. Does have a crane, and that crane ends up getting too close to the Razor and going down, so the center is actually slightly controlled by Duchy. He can't quite easily take it, though. He's going to have to work a bit for that one, and he should probably try to break the northeast or the southwest. It'll get tough in both cases, because there's lotuses in both sides. This is not an easy thing to do, but it is going to be something he needs to do, ultimately. I mean, he's, his reclaim in the center has kind of been lost. Lost that territory. There's another brawler coming in, however. This brawler is going to take, once again, quite a bit of damage. I think it's not going to be able to run away. Is it? No, just... Well, not quite barely. Two more shots would have gotten rid of it. It is able to run away, however. And put itself in a little hole here, just to get itself healed up. Not that it would matter too much if Dutch's units came up to try to get to it, but they aren't. However, they are going to try to get rid of all these defenses, try to break the center once again. Drone, really fond of setting up defenses along the center, and this game is no exception. See, his entire defense perimeter basically does not give Duchy much room to maneuver. But he is able to get rid of it fairly quickly. Defenders are not tough units, so that's not a problem. However, at the same time, from the northeast, a, gr about, a group of about seven archers coming down. Razors will do nothing against them, and there's not much else in the way of static defense to help. Black Duchy returning to deal with this, but he's going to lose some mexes in the process. And at this point, Drone has 62 metal from this reclaim. The same reclaim field that Duchy was taking that even amount. Now Drone is using it to get a threefold advantage. Duchy has very little time, if any, to get rid of what Drone has. I don't think he has any time, honestly. I think maybe this one attack. If he manages to break through and do a really good job with this one attack, he might be able... But it's going to require a lot of micro... A lot of clever micro positioning in order to make this work. But if he's able to pull this off, then he should have something of a chance. It's still tough. It's still an uphill battle. And a Grizzly is coming in as well. Like I said, last game, Amphib is the other factory of the big utility unit, and Grizzly is it. It's one of the weaker utility, big utility units, though. Only 8,000 health. It does 
deal 1500 damage. It's got a stinger on its back, basically. It's kind of like a penetrator, actually, which, surprisingly enough, is not... Well, okay, not that surprisingly. Black Touchy doesn't have the economy to go for a penetrator at this point. He really should stick with what he's going for now. This is a good unit mix. But Grizzly at the center of the... Actually, that's the second Grizzly. The first Grizzly at the center of the map already. The Brawler going to go down, dealing a bit of damage, but not much. However, that is once again inside of Drone's Wreck Field. Well, actually, it's slightly contested now. That Those defenders are gone, so it's not entirely drones, but it's basically drones. No easy way around that. These cranes, however, in the bad, in a really bad spot here. The Razor able to finish them off. And now we go for what's likely to be the deciding battle. Admittedly, ba Black Touchy's very much behind, but he just might be able to turn it around. This is the only time he has to turn it around. The only chance he has to turn it around is right now. And looks like both players just opting for a bit of a stalemate situation. But Drone coming in with a second Grizzly, that's going to be problematic to deal with. At this point, the east side of the map is something Black Touchy can take for the most part. But this Grizzly is going to be a threat to that. That's the biggest priority right now is getting rid of this Grizzly. And that's going to be a bit tricky. There are quite a few scalpels though, so that should help out. But even then, all the scalpels firing once that Black Touchy has only halves his health. Another salvo will finish off this Grizzly. But so far, already a couple scalpels have been lost. These five scalpels is going to take them about three shots to kill off that Grizzly. And the Grizzly kills them with one shot each. And they are not engaging either. And Drone is just pumping out Grizzlies. He has three on the field right now. Another one in production. So at this point, Drone is just continuing to push down. And Drone actually wondering in chat why I'm bothering to cast this. Well, to be perfectly honest, when I choose games to cast, I just go through the battles and find games where the players look more or less evenly matched. Although admittedly, 300 LO difference is not exactly evenly matched. But more or less evenly matched on good maps, which is actually most of the one featured maps. I think Small Divide is the only one I really don't care for. And then I cast them and see what happens. I also try to make sure that they're not too short. Like, four minutes or less, I typically try to avoid casting just because it's over as soon as it begins and then it just makes the YouTube video cut up a little bit weird. I end up having to put two videos in one... or two games in one video. It's just awkward. But yeah, at this point, Drone is... Well, Drone is, in fact, messing with him. I mean, at this point, Drone could just walk in with three Grizzlies and win. And Touchy looks like he'd rather have that happen than wait. But it looks like that's happening anyway. These... Yep, these Grizzlies are marching it into victory. And Drone's going to win this game from here. So, yeah, I guess it was a little bit underwhelming. But, hey, it was something... I mean, Black Touchy did... He put a valiant effort in here. I mean, at this point, it's a little hard to say that he has a chance to win, but enough harassment probably would have been good in the Northeast and the Southwest, trying to reclaim that area. His taking of the center was not bad. I mean, he had that, and it was... If he just managed to hold that a bit longer, take all the center reclaim, that would have been quite helpful for him. But unfortunately, he didn't manage to do that, and now we have this. However, the Grizzlies are still being pushed back. Scrubbers and Scalpels coming in here. Hovergraph Factory being a glass cannon factory does kind of help here. And actually, that goes for Amphib as well. Both factories are pretty glass cannon. So in both cases, they are able to kill each other effectively. However, that does mean that the Grizzlies aren't quite as effective as they could be just because of the fact that they're dealing with a larger number of units. Hovercraft Factory just builds more units. And Black Touchy going for Reclaim, going for taking the Eastern Field here. It's not going to work, though. This Grizzly is... Oh, no! This Grizzly not going towards them. Yes, they will be able to reclaim that Eastern Field. At this point, Drone is a massive economic advantage, though. There's no way that's going to matter. I mean, at this point, how many Grizzlies are there? It's five Grizzlies so far. One of which is in production, but still. That's a lot of Grizzlies. And it looks like the only reason they're retreating is because they're forced to. Actually, Drone pushing them back. Not sure why he's keeping Black Touchy alive at this point. Brawler coming in to help out, but we see how well that works before, and not very. However, Drone has the map just just win already double the speed of the replay because this is a foregone conclusion Grizzlies just need to walk in and that'll be game yeah Black Duchy still building up he's building up more and more scrubbers in an attempt to get rid of the Grizzlies but at this point the only thing that I think would have a chance would either be penetrators or a ton of scalpels and Duchy does not have the economy to outproduce drone I mean, especially drone has 90 metal right now yeah this is not going to work out I mean, one Grizzly for pretty much his entire army. That's what Black Touch has been trading for the most part this time. 
And with four Grizzlies on the field, there is no way out. There's no way around this. This is it. This is game. I think Black Duchy is just going to throw in the towel now. I'd be surprised if he lasted any longer, but yeah, it's just maybe one more battle. Nope, there it is. That's the game. That's the... Well, not even GG, actually. He didn't even, didn't even call it. He just, he just threw it in. So that was another game, and I will be back with a third game shortly. Stay tuned.